hey guys welcome back so in this video we'll be adding redux into our application we will need redux to store our user data and for that we'll be using redux toolkit so this is their website and uh, let's get started okay so this is their documentation page so we will need to install these packages redux toolkit let's install them and we also need to install redux so let's paste this as well and let's see if they have a example code um, let's see the quick start this code will be in typescript don't worry about that we will change this into javascript so this is the uh, process of creating the store so let's copy this code and uh, create a store in our application let's paste it okay so these are the reducers slash slices a slice is basically just a combination of reducers and actions so let's see if they have a example code okay so this is uh, the counter slice so let's just copy paste this into our application before redux toolkit we used to have separate files for all the redux and actions so that was very confusing for some users but now when they introduced the redux toolkit this made very easy for us so let's create a folder slices this will hold our, all our slices we will have a user slice and let's copy paste this so this is uh, currently in typescript so we will need to remove these types um, we also need to remove this and we don't need this as well and this one and this root state as well okay so this is a counter slice we will need to change this to user slice let's just change the name of it user slice and also name here user okay so we need to remove these uh, functions and we will add our own reducers these are the reducers plus actions as well we will have a set user action and this will have a state and action property and we will set the user in this reducer we, we also need to have a user a, as initial state of this slice so by default this will be null and user loading will be false okay so we need to set this user here in this reducer and we set this to action dot payload payload has the data when we dis dispatch this action so let's just copy paste this and set user loading okay so we will just toggle this user loading using payload data okay so the next thing is we need to import export them well, let's move these and export set user and set user loading and we don't need this okay sorry user slice is finished let's uh, import it to the store and add it into our reducers um, let's import it manually okay slices as user okay so our store is finished now let's wrap the whole application into redux provider so we will need to use a, a component from redux a react redux provider and wrap this whole application into the provider and provider has a property called store and we need to provide our store into this okay so our uh, redux configuration is finished now let's use this in our app navigation okay so we need to use the user value here and to use that we will need to use the use selector hook basically it will give us the root state of the store and using that we can get any value from any reducer that we want okay we'll use use selector and this will give us a root state in a callback and using that we, we can get any state that we want so using that state we can call user and this is the name of the reducer so dot user this is the this is the value from that user reducer so this is basically referring to this value from the user slice 
so we can use that or we can just use the user slice object and we can get user value from that okay so using this user value we need to have two set of navigations so if the user is logged in we will have a different navigation if not then we will have a different navigation let's just copy this and uh, paste it here and here as well okay so if the user presents that it means the user is logged in then we don't need the sign in and sign up pages and the by default route will be home and if user does not present in our state then we will have only sign in and sign up uh, pages okay so because this user don't have a value that's why we are seeing the welcome screen so let's add a dummy value for this user let's move to user slice and let's say this user have a id1 and if i save this we will be navigated to home screen because this user is not null now so this if this user had a value we will see the home screen navigation okay so let's change it back to null and our redux toolkit implementation is completed now let's uh, move to the firebase part and implement firebase into our application okay so this is a firebase console let's add a new project and let's name it expensify and continue we don't need google analytics so project is creating let's continue and the first thing we need to do is enable authentication so if we scroll down we have authentication firebase has different kind of uh, uh, providers we can have google login facebook login and all other social media logins but for now we will be using email and password so let's click on this and enable this save okay so email and password authentication is enabled now we can use that but before that we need to create an application let's create a web application and name it expensify react native okay let's register and this is the instructions to add firebase sdk into our application so let's copy this command this will install firebase into our application okay while this is installing let's just copy paste this uh, code these are basically the keys for our project so let's create a configuration file let's create here firebase and copy paste here so this gives us the app object and we can use this app component to add a authentication and database service now let's add our database and authentication okay database and we need to use get file store from firebase it should not import it but anyway let's import it manually get firestore from firebase slash firestore okay so we need to use this and pass our app object so this will give us the reference of our database and the next thing is to add a authentication service auth and we need to use get auth function so this is also not importing so let's import it manually get auth from firebase slash auth okay so this also needs our app object so let's pause it and we'll use that okay so the next thing is to create the reference to our collections we will have two collections strips and expenses and the way we can use that is use a collection method from firestore this will give us the reference for our collections and we can later use them in our in our applications we will have a database object and the name of the reference uh, sorry collection 
so let's copy paste this and we will have another reference of expenses and these are basically the collections in our database so we will use them later in our application let's change this to expenses so our firebase implementation is completed so in the next video we will start using it and add sign up and sign in and we will use this file store setting to store our data into firebase okay see you in the next video